I love living here. I love being uh, the way it is today, but you don't have to forget what used to be. Brad Hurtado's an unusual kind of guy. He makes his living in television. He enjoys the fast pace, the challenge, the glamour. But there's another part of his life he enjoys a little bit more. It's definitely the bright side. It's alive, I swear it is. You just, you touch it and you, you can feel that it's just vibrating. It's neon, gas running through tubes creating light. Sir William Ramsey discovered the gas about the turn of the century. Brad discovered it a year or so ago, and he flipped. It was the positive energy that pleased him, like when he moved here. The only thing I had was one suitcase and my neon sign. And so I hang it up in my empty apartment. It's the only thing that works. I don't have a fridge or anything. The only thing I can plug in is my neon sign. So I turn it on. I sit there and I kind of stare at it. And I found myself, I mean, it was kind of weird, you know. I sit there and I'd look at the neon. And I didn't have any idea why it worked or how it worked and all that thing. So I try and get real close to the stuff and I start looking at it. The fascination became obsession. Brad's the guy who couldn't bear to see the giant Werner's neon sign destroyed when the plant closed. So he bought it. Piece by piece, he took it apart and, well, watch where you walk in his basement. What I'd like to see happen is somebody use this piece, put it someplace where people can enjoy it. I mean, if you've, got a, if you've got a bar or a restaurant or somebody with a big old loft apartment, wouldn't that be great to come in and you, well, across this huge wall, you got Verner's. Yes, sir, talk neon and Brad lights up. His passion for the glow is clear. People are becoming uh, more aware of different types, and they're using it in their homes as art, not just a sign in the kitchen. It's becoming art. Uh, whereas it used to be just a sign on the outside of a house or a, a hotel or something, you bring it into the house, you change the form a little bit, you make it artistic, you make it pretty, interesting to look at, and then it's worthwhile in a different sort of way. So you see, it's more than just the buzz Brad gets from neon, more than the beauty. In the 1940s, neon was king. Today, it's an endangered species. Not so if Brad has his way. I like saving old things. One of them happens to be neon, and that's where... That seems to get the most attention, because <laughs> how can you help getting attention with neon?